Hey guys, welcome back. It is very cold in here. Um, it says outside feels like three degrees. Uh, so I have my heater going. Actually, it says it's 45 in here, so it is warmer than I thought. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be doing some mobility uh, training today. So we're gonna start with our cars, and then we'll get into some other passive stretching and, and body control type work. So I'm gonna be standing Let's bring those hands behind, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Start with the neck. So you're gonna draw a circle with the chin. Reverse. Arms straight out, go shoulder blades. Trying to make a circle, just using the shoulder blades. Reverse. Cross the arms, flex forward, rotate, drive, shoulders back, rotate. Reverse. Go shoulders, rotate away, reverse, rotate under. Somewhere between three and five, I'm getting five today, but if you're going slower, maybe you're getting a little bit less. Good, let's go elbows, fingers wide, bring them down, flip the hands, flipping the hands at the top and the bottom.
Reverse, start palms facing out. Wrist, block with your other hand, fingers straight, make a circle. Reverse. Other hand, keep those fingers straight. Reverse. Awesome. Grab a hold of something. We're going to go hips. Same thing as last class. We're going to go all one direction five times. Then we'll reverse five times. Same thing other side, five times one way. Reverse. Good. Before we do knees and ankles, we're just going to do some global flexion and extension for the spine. So you're going to drop the head, walk your fingers down your legs, try and come as low as you can. Slowly roll back up. Push hips forward, look up. Do a few more. Walk along the legs. Let's go one more.
All right, I'm sure my hair looked awesome through all that. <laughs> we'll take a seat and we're gonna hit knees and ankles real quick. So grab under your thigh, turn your foot out, lift, turn it in, flex. Keep that soft bend in the knee throughout so you're never locking out your leg. Reverse. Other side, grab under the thigh, turn out, lift, turn in. Reverse, turn in, lift, turn out. Go back to your first leg, go through the ankles. Reverse. Other side. Reverse. Awesome. All right, first thing we're gonna do again is um, work the adductor. So we're gonna find a stretch for those guys. I'm gonna get my timer going. So if you have a box or a bench, it's going to be a little bit easier because you can also hinge forward while you're getting into this stretch. So what you'll do is put your hands on top of a box or a bench and you're going to bring your feet as wide as you can comfortably. If you want to come down onto your elbows, that's fine. And we're going to hang out for two minutes. About 30 seconds.
slowly try to bring the legs in. Dismount's always the hardest. Whew. All right. Now you're going to still continue to use your box or chair or bench. We're going to do some seated work um, for hip external rotation. So you're going to take one leg, cross it over, and your arm, your opposite arm, you're going to link underneath the shin. Put your hands together, and then you can drive that elbow down into the knee and thigh area. So we're going to hold this until about 5.15. Can try and get a little more out of the stretch if you press a little harder with that elbow. About halfway there. Need more of a stretch, really drive that chest forward towards your shin. Ten seconds. So we'll try same thing, other leg, cross it over, loop your opposite hand underneath, interlock the hands. We'll go until about 7.30, drive that thigh down with the elbow. This side's a little more mobile for me, so I can kind of lean into it slightly more. About halfway. Ten seconds. Good. Oh. All right, 
Next we're going to do um, what would be similar to a couch stretch. So you can use what you're sitting on or if you want to put your leg up against the wall, whatever you prefer. You might need something uh, for your knee because we're going to have knee on the ground. And we're looking for a stretch in the quad. <clears throat> the more you kind of tilt your pelvis under, squeeze that butt. We'll go until about 10 minutes. So this is working knee flexion. Might feel a nice stretch across the hip flexor too. About halfway there. Ten seconds. Ooh. All right, we'll do same thing on the other side. We'll go until about twelve thirty. Again, the more you try to tilt your pelvis under, squeeze your butt, you should be able to get a good stretch going. A little over halfway. Twenty seconds. Good. We'll come out. We're going to face the other way. 
and we're gonna use your opposite leg. So the one you just worked will get a little rest. But we are gonna go knees over toes, hang out in that stretch from, let's say 13 to 15 minutes. So what you wanna do is drive knee forward as far as you can comfortably, aiming to get your hamstring as close to your thigh, or I'm sorry, as close to your calf as you can. It doesn't really matter if your back leg is straight or not because the goal is working that front leg, working knee flexion, working um, ankle dorsiflexion. Trying to drive those toes into the floor or your box. About halfway. Last 15. I'm gonna switch sides. Driving that knee as far as you can over the toes. Go until a little after 17 minutes. Try to pull deeper into the stretch. About halfway. Try to inhale into where you want to feel the stretch. So inhale into your Achilles, kind of calf area. Last 10 seconds. Good. Slowly come out. <gasps> All right, let me get this out of the way. Move my box back. All right. 
and our body control segment, if you will. Um, we're going to practice doing a Cossack squat, which is basically like a lateral lunge, uh, trying to work as deep as we can into that motion. So if you do have a super lightweight kettlebell, dumbbell, or even a plate um, that would go on a barbell, totally fine. Um, sometimes it's just a little bit easier to use as a counterbalance. So if you have the kettlebell, you'll grip it by the horns. You'll take the wide stance first, and then you're going to drive into one side. So I'm going to go towards my right. I'm going to drive. Try and stay relatively upright. Come up. Drive to the left. Come up. I'm just trying to take about three breaths at the bottom. So we'll try it again on each side. Good. Take a little rest here. And then we'll try one more challenge. You can still use the weight if you want, um, but we're gonna try and go down to the right, then go to the left without standing up. We'll try and go back to the right and back to the left. So we'll do two times. Um, it's super tough. So for me, that feels like my hips are like probably gonna disconnect, but um, for some of you, <laughs> it might be super easy. Uh, if you can get all the way down to sit on the floor after each Cossack and, and pop back up and rock to the other side, that's gonna be the most advanced version, if you will. So whatever you have the capacity to do today, just work with that. Don't try to force anything. Um, let's just wrap it up with five hip cars on each side, just to work through that space one more time. So a lot of hip today, never hurts. Again, we'll go one direction. Reverse. Other side. Reverse. Reverse. 
All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it today. If you tried the COSAC challenge, let me know how it went. And we'll see you next time. Bye.